Hi, in this example I'm going to take a look at a more uh, detailed uh, case for using a revolved feature. And in this example I'm going to demonstrate um, using a, uh, a sketch from another SOLIDWORKS model. Uh, in a previous model I just did a uh, control C to copy a sketch from another part and that could be uh, could be just like the procedure of maybe Windows selecting on some entities and doing a control C to copy or maybe even copying from Auto an AutoCAD DWG file. At any rate when you've copied some entities to the clipboard and you want to paste that into a new SOLIDWORKS sketch you just pick on the, the uh, sketch plane you want to to copy to and then just do a control V or edit and then paste and that will paste those entities into that sketch into a new sketch on that sketch plane and now we just need to go into edit sketch mode and edit that sketch so as you can see here I've got a pretty complicated sketch profile and we want to use this as a revolve now one thing I want you to take note of it looks like I've got a, a, a center line implied here for this part however notice where the sketch origin is it's way down here below uh, the other geometry. So the first thing we would probably like to be able to do as a matter of convenience is move all of this geometry so that uh, our sketch axis coincides with the sketch origin. And this can be done using the move entities command which is found under the tools menu tools, sketch tools, move. Now when you use the move command you want to window select the entities to be to move and then you can just pick a from to start point. So I'm going to pick this as my start point. And then we just move down and touch on the origin. And that will move everything down to that location. Now keep in mind, uh, we, we don't have any sketch relationships or dimensions at this time. Now if it's, a, uh, if it's the case where you're simply wanting to recreate this geometry and you're not anticipating it needing to change, you don't have to go in and fully constrain everything if you don't want to. Uh, there again, if we're not needing to modify any dimensions, there's no need to constrain anything. However, if you do want this to be modifiable, then you'll need to spend some time um, making sketch relationships and dimensions because as you can see here, this sketch is fully under constrained uh, uh, and it could uh, could update unpredictably. So I'm just going to do an undo. Uh, and we'll go ahead and just revolve this basic shape. So uh, to, be, to make the revolve feature, we just go to our features toolbar, choose the revolved feature, choose the axis that we want to revolve about, which is just this center line right here. We'll choose the, uh, the default option of a 360 degree revolve and check mark OK. And now we've created a fairly complex uh, looking feature just from a single sketch that we copied and pasted from another uh, another SOLIDWORKS sketch or even from uh, entities in another application. And quickly just turn on our cross-section view so you can see the, uh, the sectioning. So a very quick and easy way that you can copy and paste geometry into SOLIDWORKS, how you can use the move command to move it into place, and uh, then finally to create the revolved boss feature.